Here's what your schedule might look like. 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m., and 4 a.m. After each of these feeds, try to get your baby down to nap for about an hour and a half. And after the feeds, starting at 7 p.m. and continuing through 8.30 a.m., try to sleep yourself. If your baby is doing really well, gaining weight and has enough wet and poopy diapers, ask your doctor if you can go every four hours between a feed at night, which is gonna give you and your baby a lot more rest. As I explained in my week one video and in a lot of my other videos on Cloud Mom, I'm a big fan of pumping after each feed to stimulate your breast milk supply. You wanna do this using a strapless pumping bra, which frees up your hands to do other things. I'm in favor of pumping for five to 10 minutes after each feed for a couple reasons. Number one, it allows you to increase your breast milk supply. Number two, it evens out the amount you're stimulating each breast to produce the milk. And number three, it allows you to start to store up a lovely quantity of frozen breast milk. I have a video about breast milk storage guidelines, so check that out too. I don't recommend pumping at night after the nighttime feedings. That's just too exhausting. And even if you don't have time to pump after every feed, as I suggest, make sure you try to pump after the morning feed because that is when women tend to have the most milk and you want to get that milk out and store it. Thank you.